Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nervously sip my water now. Thanks, Gudgy. Um, You're welcome. Follow me on Twitter and just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so jumping into the side we have in front of us, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a potentially difficult matchup for Zelda, just because of the fact that it will be so difficult to just deal with Fox always up in your face, high mobility, able to maneuver around your projectiles. Yeah, that Fox is definitely in your face, and Zelda doesn't have the quickest buttons. So she does have it, a button. She, she, she does have a button, a B button. Mm -hmm. People call her Nerf Bale. But we also have to see Aklo maneuver around Zelda's thing. And shout out to the Brotherhood. <laughs> um, gotta, wait. gotta give a shout out to the Brotherhood. Yep, you know the one. Yep. Anyhow, they're gonna be starting off on Battlefield. A little bit of uh, an uncharacteristic choice, but I feel like on this kind of stage, um, it's definitely Fox uh, capitalizes more than able to stay up in Zelda's face. Missing the grab out of shield. Um, yeah, and you see the weight from Aklo, able just waiting for what he does. He's really patient with his fox. He's not one of those foxes that just run in just blindly. And mashes on you. Yeah, absolutely. This guy's a, a smart player. He's not a masher. Yeah, the way that he just, like, he's looking for very, very specific things when he is acting on your shield and just, like, ready to react and ready to capitalize, or ready to do a couple of 50-50s. And right now, he's not letting Zero to then jump onto stage or he's charge Phantom for three, just able to up smash him for the killing him, I believe, at 100%. Yeah, I feel like he's the only one playing melee, to be honest. We're, we're, like, all playing Ultimate. Some of us may be playing Smash 4. Yeah. Some of us are playing their own game. I don't, know what they, I don't know what they're doing, but he's playing melee. Like the way that he's just able, he is so good at just setting up his tech chase yeah. scenarios. He's just like so, so aware of this is going to lead into a tech chase, and I'm going to position myself in, in such a way that I can react perfectly. Yeah. Zeta is unable to find the juggle with the up -ends. He's definitely thought he was going to auto cancel when he went up high. Oh my god, zero to none, knowing he's going to catch him with that up smash. You don't usually see a move thrown out like that unless you know that it's going to yeah. hit. He was like, there's no way he's going to go right down me. Yeah. Because Zillitson might have been ready with a two-frame down tilt. Uh, yeah. The F smash, though, not entirely sure about the intentionality. I'm yeah. not sure if it hits uh, under the ledge like that. Maybe he could angle it down, but he didn't angle it down there at that instance. Oh, my God. Just waiting what? for him to pummel. What did oh, I just you, witness? You saw his shield? It was just wielded. I have never seen an exchange like that. Yeah. Did he just pummel him, hold him, pummel him again, and then up B as Fox? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay, he's just messing with it, man. That close, like, yo, this is the download. Oh my goodness, getting the down throw, but of course, Fox not able to get anything off of his throws other than just like a simple, like, way to get backstage control. The falling back here, not able to convert into the up tilt. And right now, like, Zilitsen has to find a way to put on damage, knock him off stage, and put him into the ledge trap scenario. Yeah, good job going for ledge right there. Zero Sun doesn't seem to be able to like have a consistent move on stage that hits below ledge. And Uppy on the shield, out of shield, definitely gonna take the stop yep. from ZTN. And that's a really good move by Zelda. If you do something that's really unsafe, she just punishes you and takes your stop really early. Luckily this ain't Smash 4 where she'll just take your stock at like 20. Yeah. And right now, um, Zitsuna is slowly starting to bring this back. Um, I feel, I, I really love, like, Aklo was kind of messing with him for a little bit. Jumping, well, falling right into that up smash, not enough to take it quite yet, but I think the next one will be definitely more than enough. Um, trying to get something started with the falling down here. Zitsuna, yeah, that's it. Uh, he cannot be missing those techs. You saw him hit the ground and then get hit by the up smash. Yeah, but I feel like he was just in the best position right there. Even though he techs, Aiklo has been getting them on reaction. So, Aiklo taking game one. This is the best of five set. This is loser's finals, guys. Oh. So, I mean, I feel like it's so difficult to even like talk about like what happened there because Aiklo's punish game was borderline immaculate, aside from like some like uh, escapes that Zygotson had at low percent. He was just so, the way that he positioned himself to be able to react to those tech chases and his knowledge of when the, his own character sets up those tech chase scenarios is brilliant. Um, because like with a character like Fox, you're just looking to rack them up to a high enough percent where you can get one of your two kill conditions, which is up smash your back here. Yeah, I'm back here even being nerfed in this game. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. Bless you. Mm, thank you. I oh. hope you're not coming down with something. That'd be really no, unfortunate. I think someone's just talking about me. It's one of those, like, anime scenes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely, yeah, Fox's back is definitely there from the last game. Killing a lot later. So it's mainly Nair, up smash, or Nair, up smash. Yep. So, something into up smash. Or up in. So, mm -hmm. so, do you think we got a stage change? Uh, yes, they went right into Smashville. Okay, yeah, I was expecting that. With the third Three, platform, two, um, allowed Aklo just to shark him a lot, really, a lot harder and made it hard for Zero to run just to come down. So, I'm actually really surprised Zero to none didn't opt for a bigger stage. Like even, Town and City. Yeah, even though it's like, even though um, there's like a bigger stage and Aklo is known for, oh, he's using Shine, but he's known for like laser camping. I feel like Zero to Nuts has a lot more projectiles just to throw at him and deter that. Yeah, you, you don't want to play that game with Zelda. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're just not far enough. Like, what is Zelda supposed to do if, he, if she's getting camped out by Fox? She does not have the mobility like to contest with a lot of Fox's runaway options. And he just, I mean, this, like, the, I love the way that uh, just Aklo is like playing so patiently instead of constantly just, <laughs> you know, pressing buttons and putting Zelda to them. Yeah, Aklo is definitely, oh. He's just getting the, the sour spot lightning hit into the Phantom, but just still gonna get scooped up by the up smash. They're still getting managed to dodge that one. And that's the stock right there. And that's definitely what Zero is gonna be looking for. He can net so many early kills, not only just because of the fact that Fox is so light, but on a stage like Smash Bros. Um, you know, when you're stealing is so low, you can be dying into that kind of an option a lot early. Oh. oh. That was a really, really great interruption. Of course, he was intending to get the, the sweet spot of it, and uh, Aqua with a fantastic reflect of the Phantom dealing a little bit more damage. So it's not really brilliant use of the beefy upbeat to just help himself get back on the stage. And nice going past, just making sure he drops it. Oh, I thought he was ball test you right there. Good, good job for him knowing the spacing. Scare me. Able to catch uh, Aklo's drift, uh, barely missing the up air. And just Aklo is so patient. He's just waiting. Look, really, really smart for Zero to not to opt to go back to ledge because he doesn't even want to risk a landing option. Fox has the mobility to just run up and up smash. So yeah. Just like great, like, restraint from Zero to He's like, okay, I'll give up my stage control. That's fine. I'm not going to up smash. I'm not going to get up smash. Yeah. And whenever Zero to none charges the Phantom all the way, okay, good job. It catches him hanging from ledge, making him scared. Aklo did not know that. So, whenever. Um, zero to none. He's like fading back. Yeah, you can't do that. He's fading back and he's trying he's just trapping Aklo like to do something. Here? No, not just yet. Yeah. He just landed, so he has to jump back. And the get up attack uh, effectively are gonna include Phantom and Zelda. Um really really good just like good patience there. Um and right now Zero to none uh, unable to connect the lightning kick. And right now, like this game, I mean, 50% difference is not all that much considered the Fox's advantage state. All he needs is like a good falling aerial on Zilitsyn, and he can bring it back quite a bit. Uh, and again, Zilitsyn is facing the lightning kick. Like, this is like the fourth time this happened all set. He's gonna go around the time. Yeah, oh, catch him. <laughs> that was the saddest cry I've ever heard from Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> and catches him. Oh my goodness. Going past Beefy. That's what you gotta do. That pacing of that game right now was just so, like, hot and cold. Yeah. Because they were both doing nothing for extended periods of times, and then they'd get up all in, on, all in each other's faces and die relatively early. It died. The length of the game was like a normal game, yeah. by the way. It was like three minutes. So you, you would have thought, like, during the random spouts of when they just stopped, and this was like a five minute game. Yeah. But no, it's not the case, guys. So for going into game three, um, I have no idea what kind of a stage you'd be trying to pick it. Zero to none clearly seems very, very hellbent on going to a smaller stage so that he can't get out camped by Fox. Um, but on the contrary, uh, you know, a big stage is really, really good for Zelda camping out Fox. So I, I have, I feel like. 
there's really no bad stage here except like Final Destination where Zelda's head is basically unprotected. And she's just gonna be really, really vulnerable to those near up smashes. Um, so going into Team 3, Aklo has yet to select the stage. And they're gonna be opting to run it back to Smash Bros. Huh. Yeah. Mr. Who? Oh. Oh, okay. I was, about, okay. I was about to say. Man, that, that guy is not the melee character we all know and love. Um. Three, two, one, go! And so right off the bat, so it's not charges the panel. This is a quick little way to the stage. Just seeing, Look seeing at these the up tilts. Able to rack up 39% with the up tilt and into a dash attack. And right now, Zeritsun has a stage control he wants, setting up the Phantom. Unable to scoop up Aklo, unfortunately. Not sure, not entirely sure what he was looking for. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay. Aklo has to be so careful of those multi jabs. Zeritsun was not able to fully connect himself a punish. I think Zeritsun had a brilliant idea there. If he upbeat on his shield and charged his Phantom just a little bit closer to Aklo, he would effectively prevent him from punishing him out of shield completely. Unfortunately, that was just slightly misplaced, but the intent was beautiful for Zeritsun. Yeah, and Zeritsun is knowing the, like what Aklo is going to do, adapting really well and keeping, like, just keeping up right now. Before he, he looked like he was just completely down. Now it looks like he just has a stronger yeah. hold of the lead. Okay, and that is so smart for the Zeta. Instead of actually like thinking about like using Phantom as like the projectile to be able to get it against Asian Control, he's using oh. it as a way to camp out because he can hide behind Phantom Shield with the Phantom right yeah. there, scooping him up. So it's not sitting at only 66%. Yeah, and he knows Aklo liked to jump, so he was able to catch him with that up air previously. And that's how Aklo was getting out of this advantage. I think he so, was trying to do the goal with the up air that he was not connecting him. Okay, using, using down to trying to get up, catching Nutra get up, but Aklo also using Shine to get out of Zero Tunnel's trap. Okay, and they're, they're just nearing at each other. Can't air dodge pass at just no nose. Able to get the punish with the down smash. And he was trying to get a phantom set up there, which would have easily spelled the end of the stock, the down and into phantom. Though uh Aklo was drifting a little bit too far above it, getting the up the yeah. connecting into itself, killing him so early, especially on a stage with such a low ceiling for smash up. Um, the phantom, that is something you definitely have to always be on the lookout for. The up smash not enough to kill Zero. It's not quite yet able to DI out of it. Okay, but Aklo now punishing for the re-grab on ledge. And that is something Zulitana has to be careful of because Zelda's head is so vulnerable um, when using Nairu's love. Uh, both Wolf and Fox's back heels are just like perfectly, they can be perfectly spaced just to like punish your player. Yeah. And now Aklo's just trying to give him too much respect to Zero to Nine. Yep. Before he was like able to rush him down, nice bait of the grab using the frame three um, jump squat to just jump over Nevin. Coming down with the dare, but missing, not getting combo off of it. Not, not holding shield because he doesn't want to die like how he previously did. Up airs. And right now Zelda's just struggling to find a way to get back onto stage. Wow, he just piled up the damage. He brought back that percent deficit all the way, putting himself in advantage, but... But he's still down the stock. It has to be careful of those phantoms. Yeah. That's something that he's like 100% used to, it seems like. Really, really great patience. So just making sure that he's not going to get hit with any funky offense. Yeah. And it seems, also seems like he also got to give credit to Zero to Nine because he's using them differently how he used them in previous mm -hmm. games. He's using them more as a shield and more in like frame shot ways. So he'll run up to Aklo and just like make sure he like rolls or something. Oh, and really brilliantly spaced up smash, making sure he can't, run, can't get punished out of shield for it. And I like the fact that Zero to None did that, but I think he could have gotten up smash out of shield for it. I don't think that was necessarily the optimal, uh, the optimal punish. Maybe the up smash might not have killed. We don't know the percent. Zero to None might just know something that we don't. And he just does an up smash right there and takes this stock. And that's game three. Yeah. Two, one, zero to None. Oh. So, after like game two being fairly close and like him stealing it, he wins that kind of down. Yeah. 
like Zuitan is slowly starting to pick up the momentum back for himself. I feel like he's like much more aware of the fact that this is what he's looking for. He's looking to set up these tech chase scenarios. You saw him not get tech chased almost at all this game, and and as a result, Akla wasn't able to get like any of his, of, of his punish going. But also Zuitan especially was just for, was just I really really like the way that he was like doing some like a 50-50s with like out of shield like you just see him throw out like a lightning kick yeah. and it misses three out of four times but the fourth time that it lands he's at a 70 percent and then he takes the lead for himself so i feel like there's just a really like a good gamble for the to to take that was relatively like with no risk yeah and it does master steal some even if it like hits the shield mm -hmm. so and that's what it was doing when it missed yep it wasn't even like flipping it was like Doing shield damage, which is which is massive. I don't when Zelda like puts her big toe at me, I don't want to smell that. It's her ankle, actually. That's a sweet spot. It's her ankle. Toes. It's her ankle. It's oh God, bless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she got the athlete foot. <laughs> <laughs> um. So for game four, they're gonna opt for Town and City, which is a completely just like a different departure from the game uh, from the other games you've seen. Because this is a huge stage, you're gonna not see up uh, up B connect as uh, you know nearly as early here. But similarly on Fox's part, you won't be seeing up smash killed nearly as early here as well. Yeah, it's a tr definitely a trade off, but it does give Aklo to play more of yep. this game. Look at him He's running away and lasering. This guy's playing. You might as well be playing like a brawler or something. Um, oh my god, the, just the very, very tip of Nairu's love connecting. And right now, like, he just saw Aklo positioning himself to maybe lead an Eridaj, maybe lead a Nairu's love. But Zilitsan so just think, one step ahead with the jump from disadvantage. Right now, he has to find a way to get back. We saw Aklo, like, basically saying, don't up be on my shield right now. I have my shield ready. But then dropped it just to make sure that he'll still be able to punish. Really, really great option to side be there, really, really in the air, just to keep it like, oh, wow. Okay, manages to get the air right there. Or the air. Oh. Ah, over committing to the big fire, unfortunately not. Like, interesting use of this side be there, not entirely sure about the intentionality of it. Yeah. Oh, and we got a lightning kick right there. Right now, Zuitanon has effectively brought it back after, you know, losing his stock considerably early. Um, really, really great use of the retreating phantoms because what, like, Fox is normally looking for is, like, to, like, shoot up those later lasers, right? Oh. Brilliant footstool, but not gonna work on the character with such a long teleport recovery. Yeah, she, yeah, she has the longest one in the game. Did you know that? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Huh. I did not know that at all. But I really think that the way Aklo is using Uppy is very, very interesting. The way that he crossed up Zilliton on shield, he just like, it's safe, and you have to respect this. And I don't know the way I feel about that. That was, I don't know, I just thought that was a really, really clever option of his um, reflecting the Phantom right back at him. But I feel like by doing that, like by Zilliton even knowingly, like, oh wow. Knowingly what? Knowingly. <laughs> knowingly what? Like, knowingly Uppy on a shield to <laughs> kill Aklo? <laughs> For the stock right there. And both of them have like severely slowed down the pace of the game. Yeah, Zilton not knows it all. He's trying to enter an Arcadian. Right. Dash attack just calling like the jump back onto stage. Aklo has to find a way to and getting the back hit of the neutral is sending Zilton off. Uh, he did not want that. He wanted the man to up smash. Really, really unfortunate on his part. Um, the Nihilus love trading with the falling neutral item. That okay, yeah, that's an up smash. Yeah, you, you don't do that. You don't up smash off people's shield. Who do you think you are? Game and watch? Yeah, definitely a misplay from Zilton on there. But they both slow down the pace of the game. Um, Aklo's playing more out of shield. He's just trying to see if Zilton on. Again, like, I don't know about that because that up B is not safe on shield. I was about to say, if he died to that at 70%. But yeah, he and that, that would have been some stuff to um, Okay, getting the trade right there. And right now, Aklo is just like struggling to find a way to get in because Zilton has the advantage, but really, really good option to just uh, like resort to the lasers. Yeah, and I don't like the fact that they both want his shield right there. Zilton needs to like find his opening. 
because he's Aquil's gonna just take advantage and make sure it doesn't run away. Okay. Oh, oh drop shell too early. Uh, well, maybe that was even a poke because. Uh, nah, he, he definitely he, dropped he definitely shield. Dropped, dropped shield. Uh, well, regardless, three one, three zero to none. Coming back after like, like I feel like in game one, like I would not have foreseen this kind of an outcome.